It is September, mid-September at that, but the crack of bat hitting ball can be heard at Lalasher Park in Lowell, and it is not the Lowell Spinners. Their season is over. It is the UMass Lowell Baseball Riverhawks. Fall ball, as it is called, has begun. A shortened season with no championship at stake and few games to play. It is a work time. It is a learning time. It is the baseball equivalent of the classroom. Monday was the first day of practice. A conversation now with UMass Lowell Baseball head coach Ken Herring on day one of the fall season. It's the first day of a, a long process, but it's an exciting day because I think all the talk is done now with all the freshmen in the dorms talking about how good they were in high school. Now they get to come out here and show what they actually have, along with the transfers. The guys on the team, parents have been reading the clippings in the paper on the website about all the freshmen that are incoming, the transfers that we have, and I think it builds up some excitement. It probably builds us up some anxiety with some of the returning guys, but as we always say, the cream rises to the top. But this is the first step in a, what's May? an eight-month process, nine-month process that is going to get us. These things that we do today are going to help build the foundation for what we can do in May. How do you approach the fall schedule? It's not a big schedule. Is this for you a very much a learning time? It is. It's, it's a learning time. It's a teaching time. It is a time for us to sit back and really see how the pieces fit together because you know we might have a guy today that took ground balls at shortstop that could end up being at second base or vice versa. Uh, we need to put you know the best nine guys on the field. Not the nine best players players but the best nine how they work together and it might take a little time to see how they're going to gel at certain positions but we use it as a, as a time to experiment to see how s certain guys might take to position changes but we want to put the nine best guys out there it's already been a long year i mean they began playing baseball very seriously back in february games began to count in march and then for a lot of them there were summer leagues do you worry sometimes about burnout a little bit but these guys the majority of them have had a month between the end of the summer season to right now that's another reason why i kind of back Backed off to the 14th to start today. Usually, in my five previous years, I've started the first day of class. But combination of things, the spinners being in the playoffs and kind of anticipating that. But giving these guys a break to kind of get used to class, used to school, finding everything. There's a lot of anxiety going on, homesickness and all that stuff. And now they can just kind of concentrate on their academics and then come here and do their baseball stuff. But is there some burnout? There might be. There might be some. But they're young. But we will. You know, we do make some big adjustments. We do things a lot differently now than we do in the spring. Pitchers are on strict pitch counts. I mean, the max you'll see any of our guys go this fall will be two innings. Uh, we're here to have them showcase us what they can do, but it also gives us a chance to see what they can do in games. A lot of guys can do a lot of great things in practice. What are they going to do in a game? You know, we don't know until the lights come on. So we'll see, and that'll, that'll start on Sunday. So we'll get a chance to see how they're going to react when it actually, the stats kind of count. I guess every roster looks terrific on the first game. Mm -hmm. Tell me, what do you love about this team? Athleticism. I think we've got, we've, I think we've, what we've done is we knew, we know what our weaknesses were from last year and I think we've done a very good job in addressing some of those and that's on the offensive side of the baseball and I think we've we've added some key cogs to I think be able to produce more runs and put more balls in play I think if we can do that with the pitching that we've got back we can do whatever we want but it comes down to executing on the field and last year we were a, a victim of any mistake we made beat us. I think as we become more veteran as we are this year, those things kind of, you know, you're able to overcome those things as you become more veteran because you're, you, you've seen everything. I think every single little thing that we did wrong last year was amplified because the other team took advantage of it. And I've never seen that in my nine years as a head coach, how many times another team took advantage of it. But again, we've got another year under our belts. The Devlins and the Jacobs are now sophomores. Uh, we've got some very good upper class leadership where we've got seven or eight seniors now. But the past few years, we've had two each of those years. And those, are, those guys are extremely important because they've been through these battles. So what I like is the interchangeable parts, the athleticism, the speed that we do have, and um, we've also added some power. So we're, we're excited about the full package. Is this fall season such a valuable time because it, it gives you the greatest latitude in teaching? Well, we'll implement all of our systems, all of our, you know, our bunt defenses, our rundowns, our cutoff and relay uh, systems, first and third defense, uh, our pitchers fielding practice. We'll put all that in, and we'll, we'll have to do that pretty much every day that we get together as a team. But what we've done differently this year is, uh, in the past, we've done all of our team workouts in our 24 days that were allotted in the fall, but what we're doing is mixing them up, uh, a team practice, and then an individual skill day where we can get six guys for an hour. I can go out there with the infielders and say, okay, this is how we're turning double plays. So we have use of the field. We've always done it over on the turf, so now these guys can become used to the field, and I think we'll see, the, we'll reap the 
the rewards that come springtime because they'll get more teaching and more one-on-one work with our coaches in the fall instead of waiting for the fall to be over we put the field to bed and then we go over on the turf because there's just something different about taking a ground ball on this surface as opposed to the turf so i think we've made good adjustments in that in that capacity where i think we're getting the maximum use out of this facility in the fall to for everybody to be comfortable come springtime but yeah we it is a big teaching time for us a huge teaching time because as you said when you're in the gym you can only do a certain amount of things and that turf opens up but still you know it is 30 degrees out too so does there come a point after the fall season where for all intents and purposes you tell guys let's shut it down now for a month or two months whatever period of time well our pitchers definitely uh, they'll they'll stay strong right in the weight room we'll give them a couple weeks off right after the fall for everything baseball I don't want to pick them up the ball but we'll be just focusing on our strength conditioning stretching I think we're going to implement some yoga this year to really work on uh, some flexibility which is I think is our biggest weakness is we're not very flexible and then after that we'll get right back into our individual sessions where we can break down hitters inside uh, video do a lot of video and breaking down video and make the best use of the facility we have across the river. Mm-hmm.